Hey, check out what I can do with my eyebrows. This short video is going to cover some of the better ways to adjust the color contrast in <clears throat> This video is going to cover some of the good, better, best ways to remove color cast and improve the contrast of your images using the levels adjustment layer. So looking right at you, let's get started. This image has a color cast problem and a contrast problem. Contrast in photography is the visual ratio of different tones in an image that's measured from pure white to pure black with a full range of grays in between. It's this difference in tones that creates the textures, highlights, shadows, and clarity in a photograph. If a photograph does not have normal contrast, it typically falls on the high contrast side or the low contrast side. High contrast means there's an abundance of dark and light tones with very few midtones. A low contrast image is typically called a flat image, and that usually has a lot of midtones, but it doesn't have any blacks or whites, and most commonly it doesn't have both. That's the case with this image. I'm going to add a levels adjustment which is gonna show me the histogram. And yes, that confirmed my suspicion. There are no black tones, there are no white tones. Now, if you need to do a quick contrast fix, all you have to do is just drag the black slider or the white slider, or in this case, both, to the base of the mountain. It's gonna quickly fix your contrast issue. But since we didn't correct the color cast issue to begin with, now we can really see that kind of green color cast. So I had Command Z twice, Control Z for Windows, to undo those two things. So I'm gonna click on this gray point eyedropper and click on a light or light gray tone that should be there in the image because that's where you're gonna find your color cast the easiest. There we go. And we kind of see that that did fix it. Second option, if you wanna be very specific, you can hold down the alter option key while you click on this black slider. And as you drag it to the base of the mountain, all right, the base of the mountain is showing me that the blue and cyan are starting to go black, but you want pure black. You want all three color channels to be pure black. So look how far into the mountain I've got to drag it. I'm just now starting to get pure black underneath the shoe and around the shoe laces. There's a reason for this, and I'll tell you that in a minute, but I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold down the Alt or Option key while I drag in the white pretty much here. Now, if this were a print, I would want to lower my output to maybe 247 or 252 for the output area over there in the, the uh, levels adjustment, and that would make sure I didn't have paper white showing in a print. But since this is online, I'm okay with the extra drama. So now we've removed the color cast and we've adjusted the contrast. Now, whenever you reset the black and white points, the midtones auto calibrate in between. So you need to drag the midtone slider to taste. Do you want this to be a little bit of a lighter image like the original one? Or do you want to be a little bit more darker, moodier image? You kind of set the mood with this midtone slider. So that's how you would fix it pretty quickly. I'm going to turn this off. Do you see the green cast now and how it looks flat as it compared to this fix? Now let me show you something else. I'm going to throw that away. I'm gonna do it again, levels adjustment, gray point, fix the color cast. Now here's the thing, the reason that it didn't give us pure black at the base of the mountain, I had to come inside the mountain, is because each individual color channel is at a different point. You see how the histogram shifts? So let me show you a more specific way to adjust this. I'm gonna add a levels adjustment layer, gray point eyedropper, click on the lighter light gray tones that should be in the image because that's where the color cast is gonna be revealed. That's gonna remove the color cast. Now, instead of dragging to the base of the mountain here, I'm gonna actually go in per color channel and do it because that's the most accurate, but sometimes speed and efficiency, depending on your need, doesn't warrant this much extra work. Notice how the mid-tone slider always recalibrates to be exactly centered between the white and black point. All right, so now I have per color channel, make sure you go back up and reselect RGB. See how it stretched out the entire histogram all the way across? So now I've corrected per color channel by going into each one and dragging the black and white points to the base of their individual histogram mountains. And this is a nice effect. Remember, you still always need to reset your midtone if you want that like brighter look or a moodier look. Now let me show you the best way. Wait, holy smokes, Batman. You mean it gets better? Wow, this is awesome. I'm gonna undo that just by deleting it. And again, green cast, even though it's very subtle, you can now see it pretty easily. Go back to levels, remove my color cast. Always remove your color cast first. Color cast is gone. Now, instead of going to each individual color channel for that very specific adjustment, you can do it very quickly with the black and white eyedroppers because it automatically goes into each individual color channel to fix it. So if I click on the, the black point, I want to sample where I think it should be black, but I don't, I'm only at what? 17, 18% of this image. So I'll hit command or control one to zoom into 100%. 
So I have a good sample choice. So I definitely want this where there's no detail or information. This is a perfect black point set. And then I need a white point to set. So I'll click on the white point eyedropper and I'll choose uh, something over here, something, one of these things that I want to shift all the way to white and that stretched it out. I can click again if I want something better. And then I'll hit Command or Control Zero to zoom back out and look at it. So now I have green shoes, no color cast, and it's happened across all the, the color channels. So now I'm going to adjust my midtones to taste. Now this is what I would call just a starting point now. Now we fix the color cast, we fix the contrast issue. Now we need to figure out what it is that we want to do to make this an exciting image. For me, I would hit Command Option Shift Letter E that's control alt shift letter E for Windows users. It's going to compress all your layers underneath from two layers to 2000 layers to the very top. For this particular image, I think I would post visualize kind of a dark moody scene with maybe a blue tint. So I'll increase the blue temperature. Maybe I'll push the saturation up to clarity and texture because it is appropriate for this. I want to make sure that clarity and texture didn't blow out the highlights, which tends to happen. I'll throw in a little dehaze just to make it a little darker overall. And I'll put a post crop vignette pretty much the way photojournalists love to roll. So I like the way that looks. Hit update. So here's my vision of where this image should go. Here's the correction and here's where we started. So we went from this green color cast image that's flat to this interpretation. Now in Photoshop, you can push things way past where they should be pushed. And I tend to do that because I believe you can't find the line until you step over it. The great thing is you just lower the effect. So I would just lower the opacity a touch back down to my corrected layer. So maybe I liked what I did, but I only want to see 70% of what I did on top of the corrected layer. So it's a bit more subtle. And there you go. This is awesome. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Go home. Yes! That's awesome! What? You just took one in the jugular, man! Huh. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I did! Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. That shit is not cool. Come on. The dog, man. You got a fucking dog in your neck.